Yarp. By the end of this video, you're going to be making videos like the big dogs. I'm talking Alex Hermosi, Grant Cardone, Gary V. Doesn't matter who it is. Your videos are going to be like theirs. I'm going to show you how to make captions like the one you're seeing on your screen right now. And I'm going to show you two ways to create captions. I'm going to show you the Alex Hermosi way, which is the way that you're probably most likely looking for. And then I'm going to show you the way that I do it, which is a bit more automated and less confusing. And I want to see which one you prefer. So I'm going to show you the Alex Hermosi way up front. And then as a bonus at the end of this video, I'm going to show you the quicker way, although not as pretty, but still a really good way to generate some captions. How does that sound? Does that sound good? Perfect. Let's jump into Premiere. Now that we're in Premiere, there's only two things that we need as housekeeping. So the first one is to make sure that we've got this font downloaded right here. Go to fonts.adobe.com, look for Montserrat, and then the one that you're going to want to download is the extra bold font right here. This is the exact font that Alex, Rant, Gary all use, but download the extra bold font. That's going to activate in your Adobe Creative Cloud. Once you go back to Premiere, you're actually going to see that available for you for use. I'm also assuming that all of your footage is already chopped up. All you're wanting to do is adding captions. If you don't have that done, then go pause this video and do that right now so you're ready to put in the caption. Assuming your video is already chopped up, what you want to do is type out manually what you're actually saying in the video to create your captions. Now, there's an easier way to do this again. I'm going to show you that at the end of this video. But for the sake of making captions like Alex or Mosey, Let's just run our video and we're going to type out in small sentences what we're actually saying. So for this clip, you see a lot of people with pro we're going to type out. You see a lot of people, right? So hit T on your keyboard and then just click on somewhere on your video preview. And then we're going to type in. You see a lot of people. Perfect. Now we're going to drag this to the beginning of our clip. And then we're going to double click on the words that we just typed. So the first thing you want to do is make sure this is all center aligned. So highlight the words you just typed in, go underneath where it shows your text and hit on center aligned text. And then you're going to want to align this in the middle of the video as well. So center to align that uh, horizontally with your video. Perfect. Now we do want to drag this down a little bit so it's not covering our face. If that's the case, just go to this section here. So right underneath the align section, take the number on the right hand side and just drag it to the right and you'll see it bring it down. And now for the settings of the actual words and how they look, which is where the magic happens. So we want to use the font that we just downloaded, the, the Montserrat Extra Bold font. Our fill for the meantime is going to be white. The stroke is going to be 15. The stroke is also going to be black and it's going to be set to outer. Make sure you have it set to outer. The shadow for this, which is where a lot of the magic also happens. Shadow is going to be black. The opacity is going to be 92%. The angle is going to be 90. The distance is 4.8. The size is 12.4. And then the blur is 40. And at that point, your words should look like this. Now, is that starting to look familiar to you? Because it should be. Okay? It should be. Now, perfect. We've got our words. We have the format of the words and how we want them to look in the video. But now we have to go and individually type everything that we're saying, which is the tedious part. So what we're going to do to make this very, very simple is cut out the section of this little graphic that we've got for our words where the next sentence starts. Now, to cut this, we just hit C. You might already know this. You might not know this, but just hit C on your keyboard. And then we're going to delete the other section by hitting backspace. Now, to keep these settings, what you want to do is click on your words, hold your Alt key on your keyboard, click and drag. And what that will do is it will just copy and paste your section. So you see a lot of people. You see a lot of people with, with profile pictures with profile pictures. So we'll do it that way with profile pictures. Perfect. So you get the point of me having to go through and just like alt drag and type new words. That process is again, it's pretty tedious. The other thing you can do is actually change the color of the word. So if you want to go into the section that you just typed out, highlight the words that you want to change the color of, and then just go to the fill section on the right hand side, click on the box with the color, and then just pick a color that you want. So we'll just use green, for example, here. Now going into the easier version, which is the version that I use for my captions, it's not as pretty, but it definitely does do the job. And if you're also finding some value in this video, make sure you hit subscribe and you hit the like button. Uh, 
you might want to ring the bell notification. I don't know. What do YouTubers say? So let's assume that you don't have any captions. You didn't do the Alex and Rosie version. The way that I do it is I automatically generate captions with Premiere's built-in auto transcription feature. So in the text panel next to your effects control panel, now if you don't see the text panel, just click on window, go to the window drop down, and then click on text. So that will bring you to this window here. Go to the transcript section and then click on transcribe sequence. Now this is going to take a little minute, but we should be all good. And then you'll see that Premiere actually automatically transcribes your video. So just proofread how it looks and then make any adjustments that you see necessary. Now, the way that I generate my captions is I click on the three dots up top here. I go to create captions and then I'll set my maximum length and characters to about 14 or 15. We'll just make it 15 here and then I'll make my lines as single. So what that does is you'll see it kind of makes it more fast paced without somebody having to read a full sentence. But the captions will be placed at the bottom of the video. Same thing here. If you just want to adjust where the words are actually showing in the video, just go back to the section that we showed up top with the Alex or Mosey words. Click on the middle square in this zone right here. And again, the right hand number is where you want to set the vertical position. So just drag this to the right a little bit and you'll see that you can just put it wherever you want. I keep it about here, right? You also want to make the words bigger. I like to set this to about 75, which you see here. And the font that I use is a downloaded font from I think the font. I use go. I'm going to set this to bold. I'm going to make it all caps and then I'm going to make it italicized. The other thing I do is I add a yellow background. So I'm going to make the background yellow here opacity at 100 size at about 25 ish we'll call it and then the fill is going to be black we're going to take off the shadow and these are the captions that i use now what you're going to see here is only the first set of words that you just picked is going to be formatted properly so what you want to do is click on the words that you just edited click on track style where it says none and then what you're going to want to do is create the style here so i just name it captions I hit enter and I hit OK. And now all of the captions should be edited properly. You see a lot of people with profile pictures like this. So here Perfect. So just go through your video, make sure all of the settings look good, all the captions and the words make sense. They're not putting any like weird auto corrected words in there. Sometimes it does happen. A lot of people don't proofread and you might get canceled. But export your video, post that shit on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, anything that you like. And if you want to start making some videos that people actually like and care about, then click on the video on your screen right now because this is where I show you my entire content creation process. And you might enjoy it, it might not enjoy it. In any case, I appreciate you being here and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.